Today's scleral contact lenses provide an opportunity to help our patients improve visual function in a novel way. In addition to the considerations that need to be taken with central corneal clearance and the scleral landing, limbal clearance is just as important to understand. Scleral lenses are unique in that they are designed to rest solely on the surrounding conjunctiva and underlying sclera. This means that they completely vault the cornea. The limbal transition zone of the lens is the portion that is between the optic zone of the lens and the scleral landing zone. It is this area that vaults over the limbus. It makes it critical to understand the importance of lens clearance at the limbus as this portion of the cornea contains all the limbal stem cells which will repopulate the rest of the cornea. Clinically, we can manipulate the limbal clearance by either steepening or flattening the curve in the limbal transition zone of the lens. Steepening the limbal transition zone of the lens would increase the clearance over the limbus. Steepening this curve would also increase the sagittal depth and thus the overall central clearance of the lens. So to maintain the same sagittal depth and central corneal clearance, if the limbal transition zone is steepened, there will need to be a corresponding flattening of the central region of the lens. A reason that a lens would require steepening in the limbal transition zone is if there is inadequate clearance of the cornea, either centrally or at the limbus. In this particular clinical video, fluorescein is seen in adequate quantity centrally, but is not visible underneath the limbal transition zone of the lens because the lens is actually resting on the limbus. Steepening the limbal transition zone of this lens would resolve this issue. Flattening the limbal transition zone of the lens would decrease the clearance of the lens at the limbus. Flattening this curve also decreases the sagittal depth and thus the overall clearance of the lens over the cornea. A reason that a lens would require flattening the limbal transition zone is if the lens has excessive clearance over the central portion of the cornea or the limbus. The following clinical video shows excessive central clearance. Flattening the limbal transition zone of this lens decreases the central clearance. Evaluating the clearance over the limbus is important when fitting scleral lenses. If there is any sign of the lens contacting the limbus, the limbal transition zone needs to be modified accordingly to eliminate that contact. The ideal fit should demonstrate limbal clearance. Thank you for joining us. I hope that this has been insightful for managing limbal corneal clearance with scleral lens fitting.